We're now closer than my friends and family. We've sure. seen each other so much in the Every last few weeks. Every week for the past three weeks. We, were, we <gasps> went to Brazil. Me and Steve were like this. Jesus, really? Yeah. yeah. With all the traffic, the two weeks. Yeah. Oh, you the traffic talk about is this outrageous. That's outrageous. Insane. No, look, it's, it's, another, it's literally another level. That's you what he literally did just say. You can't describe it. It's wild. It was probably because of Comic-Con. No, 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 I've been there a lot. <laughs> really? It's, 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 it's fucking crazy. All right, enough about Brazil. Let's get back to the <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> right. So I like throwing a curveball at the beginning. You already know this. I don't think I asked you this. So um, this is for the both of you. Um, if someone has never seen anything you've done before, what is the first thing you'd like them watching and why? Holy crap. I don't know. I answered this question. I suppose Banshees, just because it seemed to hit, hit, you know, a lot of people seem to like it, I guess. So it was kind of good. I guess I'd pick that one. Or Luck. I did a job with Michael Mann where I played a jockey and I was with Nick Nolte. Oh, I love that. I, I love that show. That every actor was incredible. It was The camera department was incredible. Love that show. Loved it, yeah. Thanks. Um, I already what answered this pick? question. I think I, I, think I picked Dud. Wait, what? Did I pick Black Mirror or Dud? No, I don't think you actually. You, I asked you what you your dad would watch. What oh. you should watch from your dad. Oh. I don't, you might what have said Lodge Forty Nine. Like talked about it. Right. I'd say I'd say Dad because I'd say that's closest to like my heart. I'm gonna watch it. So don't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> was it no, it's good. Um, just don't uh, watch it in the traffic in Brazil. Anyway, right. so um, one of the things about horror movies is they can really impact the way you are in real life. For example, when I saw Poltergeist as a kid, I refused to look under my bed because it it hit me. So I'm curious, what films did you possibly see at a young age that actually impacted you in real life? Do you remember there was a movie about, um, it was called Small Sacrifices, for Ara Fawcett. She played a real life killer, Diane Downs, who murdered her. I know the whole movie, like practically. <laughs> she murdered her kids. And one of the kids, she murdered three of her kids because this boyfriend didn't want to be a father. Uh, she's a real woman and Farrah Fawcett played her. And one of the kids survived in real life and testified like, yeah, my mom shot us. And like that totally stayed with me, that movie, because I was very young when I watched it. And like there's a song in it that like Diane Downs played in the car when she was shooting the kids. And yeah. Sounds like a laugher. I mean, I wasn't scared my mother was going to shoot me, but I was like, do you know that a woman could kill her children? Like, it just, you know, like humanity. Oh, 100%. So that, and that, I remember that was scary. Yeah, Sleeping with the Enemy was another one that was kind of scary. Yeah. Julia Roberts. Mm. That was a good one. Yeah. Well, see, these movies <clears throat> back in the 80s, 90s, that's what I feel like no, Night no. Swim is like. Like Good Burger. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Good Burger was a film. They're making a Good Burger too. Actually, it's out right. It's out. It is not scary. It is. <laughs> it is so bad. It's good. I guess yeah, it's more of a it, comedy. It's a comedy. It's it used to be. It's it's uh, it's a ridiculous movie. Well, how did it scare you? It would. It wasn't scary. Great. Uh, He's not answering. Abe Bogota was putting. Um, <laughs> it was poisoned by. Uh, <laughs> they poisoned the sauce. <laughs> I remember I was sick from home. There was Direct TV, and I like bought. Good Burger, and I was nine. It's the dumbest movie you've ever seen, um, but I loved it when I was like nine years old. It was perfect for me. Cute. Yeah. So one of the things about Night Swim is it reminds me why I will not go in the ocean or in a pool because you never know what's down there. Let's let's be honest. Movies have corrupted me. Um, so talk a little bit though. Uh, what day of the, this? I don't know how I connected to this, but what day of the shoot were you like no more water? Day one. <laughs> I still love swimming, so I can't say that it affected me at all. I love water. I love being in the pool. Um, so, but uh, um, filming in water is totally different than being in water. So, I think if I was to film in water again, I would ask that we do that at the beginning of the shoot as opposed to the end of the shoot. Yeah, um, it was about day three. Uh, for me, of the water stuff, where I was like, really? I'm good. Well, I got sick, and so it was like, I don't, the producers were awesome and warmed the water up, and and it was 98 degrees. It was balmy. Wonderful. I felt it was unhygienic at that time, <laughs> <laughs> quite frankly. And it was uh, it was a rough go for me for the rest of the shoot, but it was it was yeah, I'd say day three. I ask this of uh, of everyone I speak to when they're involved in like a scary movie or a horror movie. What do you think it is about the genre? 
genre that people love watching them and love being scared. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier. My theory is it's just like you feel alive. So like any extreme emotion makes you feel alive. So like roller coaster rides, things like that, or adrenaline junkies, people who love doing like crazy kind of things. It's that similar thing of of that. And then I suppose it's probably a community too. Like they, pro- you know, I imagine a lot of horror people like talk about different horror things and criticize and you know, like different horror things. It's probably a community that feels good to be a part of. People like being part of it. Group. I, and I, I, for me, I think that the psychological element is like, this thing can't hurt me. It can't physically do harm to me, but I can experience this terrifying, uh, you know, supernatural element of whatever it is that I'm watching uh, for that contained amount of time and then go back to my the safety of my home. That part of it, I think, is the, what makes the best horror films. Like, I, I'm not a big fan of like, slasher movies that just slash and like you know it could happen to anybody that's not i don't love them but when they're you know like the shining and all these great horror movies like you reference you know like it's referenced ad nauseum they're great because there's like a there's an existential crisis happening somewhere and it's always set against a great backdrop that usually has to deal with some kind of supernatural element, even if it's in someone's head or if it's their swimming pool or if it's their haunted house or things that, you know, we don't necessarily experience in everyday life. That's fun to just get a snippet of and, you know, get that, like Carrie said, the little jolt. I have an individual question for you. Uh, I am very excited for Skeleton Key because it's John. Skeleton Crew, yes. Did I say it wrong? No, Skeleton don't worry crew. at yeah. all. Yeah, uh, me because too. It's, because it's John Watts. Uh, he's such a talented director. And I'm just, could you talk a little bit about uh, the, the role and what you're excited for people to see? Oh, gosh, I'll be strangled if I talk about the role. Don't you know I will be? Um, what I'm excited to see, what am I excited for people to see? Um, oh, Jesus, I feel like I'm r- walking a tightrope. You know what these people <laughs> yeah, are like? I know. Um, the four leads are so great. Their four leads are so great and they're very young and they're really great and they're adorable to be around. Um, so that would be the first thing. And also it's for an age group that's a really cute age group of children. It'll appeal to an age group of children. I think that would be really nice that I, I'm not sure has been targeted before. Sure. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I hope this is a huge hit for you guys. Thanks. And I'm not talking to you again for the rest of the year. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>